Learn and play online. Telling the time, quarter two times. Be sure to check out our other video first. This video is based on a worksheet. You can find the link to the worksheet in the description box. Make sure you pause the video as many times as you need. Let's have a look at question number one. The instruction says, draw the hands on the clocks as they appear in the video and write the digital times for each. Now we're going to look at question A. Look at where the hands on the clock are and draw them on your worksheet. Now let's closely examine where the hands are pointing. The minute hand is pointing to the nine, so that means that 45 minutes has passed the hour. The hour hand is past the three and has not reached the number four, which means we are still in the third hour. To write this digitally, it would be 345. We know that the next hour will be four o'clock and there is a whole quarter of an hour left until it reaches four o'clock. So the time on the analog clock shows quarter to four. Let's move on to question B. Look at where the hands on the clock are and draw them on your worksheet. Now let's closely examine where the hands are pointing. The minute hand is pointing to the nine, so that means that 45 minutes has passed the hour. The hour hand is past the six and has not reached the number seven, which means we are in the sixth hour and the digital time is 6.45. This also means it is a quarter to seven, because as we know, there is a whole quarter of an hour left until seven o'clock. Now it's your turn to have a go. Make sure you pause the video now to give yourself time to answer these questions. There will be a countdown before we show you the answers. The digital time for question C is 12.45 and it is quarter to one. The answers for question D are 9.45 and quarter to 10. Now let's move on to question two. The instruction says, for each of the questions below, draw the hands on the clocks and write the time. Starting with question A, if the time was 2.45, pause the video and draw the hands on the clock face to show this. Your minute hand should be longer and it should be pointing at the number nine. The hour hand should be shorter and it should be pointing close to the number three. Let's move on to question B. Draw the hands on the analog clock to show 10.45. This is what your clock should look like. Now you can try question C and D by yourself. Remember to pause the video to give yourself time to complete the questions. This is what your clocks should look like. Now let's move on to the last four questions of the worksheet. For question E, if the time was quarter to 12, Draw the hands on your analog clock to show this. This is what your clock should look like. Moving on to the next question. Draw the hands on your analog clock to show quarter to eight. This is what your clock should look like. Moving on to the last two questions. Read the times in the boxes below and draw the hands for the analog clocks above. This is what your clocks should look like. We hope you got all the answers correct. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.